Alright, so I just wanted to do a little video on why I chose to go with the three and a half inch knuckle kit from Rough Country and why I am a big supporter of the Rough Country products. This kit I purchased was $689 shipped to my door. Definitely levels out the truck. It does sit pretty good height. At the top of the fenders on the front, it's around 40 and a half inches. The rear is 41. So there is still a slight amount of rake with this lift, which is not too bad. Price wise, it was really convenient to purchase it for that price with an alignment and everything. It rang up just under $1,100. <clears throat> I've had many different rough country lifts from the three and the three and a half for the 08s and whatnot to the two and a half to the two inch and they've always been really good products. If I've ever had an issue, I've phoned and talked to a real person and got the information that I needed. Now when I was purchasing this kit I contacted them because of the 18s. It didn't really show whether this tire and rim setup would work. They figured it would. It does still minor rub at the very hard crank, but nothing that I was concerned about, like the three inch moto fab that I did have in this truck. <coughs> Not to knock the moto fab, but it did put a lot of strain on upper ball joints, CVs, that kind of stuff. That is why I did switch and go back to this three and a half. But when I purchased it, Rough Country had not yet come out with this kit. And I just didn't want to wait because as most of you know, GMs and Chevs are so low in the front end stock that it is just yeah, you got to lift them right off the bat if you want to make them look good. So, I went with this kit. This truck sits really good height. Easy enough for the kids to get in and out. Me, my wife, my grandparents, everybody to get in and out of this truck. <clears throat> when you purchase these kits from Rough Country and stuff, it is great quality product and they do stand behind their stuff I absolutely like it, all their products that they have from the lift kits to now the accessories and whatnot but <clears throat> rough country for a budget build or something like that is great I highly recommend them a lot of guys hate rough country say they're trash I can speak up to the three and a half inch that they are awesome kits. Anything above that, I really can't say. One day I will try, but I'm not a fan of cutting the front of my truck all to pieces just for a lift kit. When you can get a lifted truck like this that looks good, is still usable, and not have to hack the heck out of your truck. That is the biggest thing with me, is hacking the hell out of your truck just to put a lift in and put big wide tires on and try and look cool. I put the three and a half inch in, give me some extra clearance with the front end for when I'm out hunting, out in the field, out doing this or that so that I'm not rubbing, not bottoming out that front end. Whereas the stock truck, you're bottoming out like crazy and whatnot. That's why I went with something like this and I don't go with a BDS 4 inch or something like that. I don't want to hack the hell out of the front of my truck. I want it to be usable. This truck, if I want to get rid of it and it's an older fellow that wants it, 3-4 hours I can have it back to complete stock, aligned and everything for him. Whereas these other lifted trucks you can't, which sucks because most of the time when you do sell a lifted truck it is to 
some 16 year old kid that's gonna rat rod the bag off of it and whatnot and I like to keep my options open with selling my trucks afterwards with these kits I had one on my 2008 I put over 200,000 kilometers on it only did ball joints once CVs were good everything was great and that truck I beat the living piss out of and never had an issue my last couple trucks I went with the two and a half inch I had a 2012 and a 2015 put the two and a half inch lift in there and they were spot on my 2015 actually sat similar with the tire setup that I had on that truck it was very similar in height to a four inch BDS which surprised the crap out of me but it's all about what you want to do with your own vehicle but I highly recommend for those of you who are looking for a great product for a great price check out Rough Country for those of you in Canada low riders they are awesome it took two days for this three and a half inch to come from Vancouver I just phoned them directly and they shipped it out to me two days I had it boom in and looks absolutely awesome sun's a little bit bright today super hot 30 above out today trucks a little dirty as usual it's not a pavement princess it does get out and gets dirty every now and then <coughs> but I highly recommend rough country those that want to dog them and whatnot that's their own opinion but I'm sure they have had bad luck whereas you're gonna get that with everything I had my 15 I had bad luck I had a deer and then had nothing but electrical issues non-stop that we could not figure out the problems to that's why I ended up with this 2018 so everything's gonna have its lemons no matter what but I highly recommend checking out rough country even ready lift go to those other companies you don't have to spend an arm and a leg like a lot of guys say oh you have to buy the BDS because you know they're the best of the best they are the best but you're gonna have like this rough country kit is great I don't have any hesitation taking this truck off road doing anything with it and worrying about my suspension components I know they'll last because like I said I had my 08 that I put over 200,000 K on it before I sold the truck and never had an issue other than we did ball joints once but we did them at 300,000 kilometers on that truck that's when they finally went out on stock ball joints so that's just my food for thought on this I don't know what you guys think maybe I'm just ranting and rambling but check out price out stuff before you just go hey I want to lift my truck I'm going most expensive and then pay for it later you know like this kit you can buy get it into your truck two years down the road let's say you want a BDS you can save for that put that in or if you want to do a Cognito or whatever you want to do this is a great entry level but it does the job so I don't know let me know in the comment section what you guys think about rough country or whatever companies you guys use this is my personal opinion so you guys can hate on me or whatever the hell you want I don't really care I'm just saying what I see what I feel with these companies with these lifts all that sort of thing so hope you guys enjoyed if you haven't already hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up have a great day